it, what it do, what it do, what it do. What's happening, lovely people? Good to yeah, see all of y'all up? here. All right, so you know what we're doing here. We are recording the flow, and uh, the basic homework is as follows. If you have any questions, listen to Mr. Moderator. You know, <laughs> Paul's in charge. He, he, Paul's in charge, <laughs> yes. It's, there used to be a TV show, yeah. Paul's in Paul charge. is in charge of our days <laughs> and our nights. Yeah. Oh, that's super funny. Oh, God. <laughs> what is that song called? What is that song? It, the show, I think, was Charles. Charles is in no, charge. No, it is Charles but... in charge, but no, I just thought I thought of another song. Oh, you're thinking another and, one. And it matched that tempo that you just sang. But, I was totally off um, key for that one, but something no, like no, that. No. You get, you get there, it. <laughs> there is this song. Oh my God, there's a song that matches that. And then now it's going to bother me because, you know, my musical Tourette's, like, it, it's just a thing and that's how it works. Um, Yo, I just came for up with the first 20 movie. minutes of the show. We're going to guess what Doc's thinking. What song is Doc thinking? Drop it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I just came up with a crazy uh, feature request. I don't know if the guys can do it or not, but you know how in the guest window, right? I, we have the ability to see what's going on. So what I had yeah. to do is make you smaller. I put the teleprompter back. So I put you right here. So now I can yeah. see you there. I can see Paul if your question is like or whatever, because since I last used my teleprompter, I have my eyes fixed. <laughs> but it's <laughs> it's covered by all of the chrome accoutrement. So uh, I wonder if we have a way to turn that feed into a camera, not a real camera, but you know, mm-hmm. labeled as a camera, because then in camera switcher, I can just send it to the oh, oh that, it's worth an ask it's worth an ask you never know right see <laughs> I, I, know. I i came out with something uh not as many as anna did but <laughs> you have to be able to to explain the use case really well that's always the next question is like why what's oh, it 100 percent. <laughs> and i i think i'm i'm glad you say that because I, I think people don't often understand that like we have to have a really good use case in order for it to fit as you should for your own products people if you're listening to this pre-show and you just happen to be wondering you should always have a use case because otherwise you're just adding stuff and then you make your situation more complicated and you don't realize it yeah. and this came up in the um in the uh the adrian takeover what the heck did yeah. we call that my head challenge. hurts the e it was challenge yeah challenge. that's the word all right <laughs> hey okay guys i'm back <laughs> um because somebody <laughs> somebody was mentioning you know like how do i you know feed zoom back to ecamm so i can stream yeah. it to youtube and adrian was like why don't you just stream it from zoom yeah <laughs> yeah ah! usually so the easiest answer is the one you should go with <laughs> Like, right, right. Sometimes we're was, all overcomplicating oh, things way too much. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, guys. So here we go. We're going to start the flow thing. We're going to start our recording. I'm just moving windows around over here so that we get everything in place. I see everybody's ready. So we're going to start. I'm going to do my countdown like we normally do. And then Katie and I will introduce and we'll start talking about what we're talking about today. The important things are as follows. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go over to iTunes. Or not call iTunes anymore. Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast. Store? Apple Podcast wow. app. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Apple Podcast app, and it's also the Apple Podcast Store, I guess. But you go to Apple Podcast app, and you know, subscribe to the cast if you haven't done so already. And then, yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, let's see. P, what are you talking about? P is talking about twenty-five hours to do. Oh, she. P's talking about just script. Just, it, oh. it, it, it auto corrected to describe. <laughs> It, oh, in the okay. script, sometimes it auto it auto corrects to the script, and I'm like the script. It's like a cool nickname <laughs> for the <a new> script. <laughs> yo, that's yo. What you y'all using the script, G? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's very fancy. It's like the oh story. wow, that's that's a good. It, it is funny to figure out what it thinks it is. <laughs> so that's pretty. <laughs> That's pretty glorious in and of itself. Okay, gang, so we're gonna get started. Um, And then if you have questions, of course, please drop them in. We will do our best to get to these questions. And so I just need to um, wet the whistle. I know, I don't have anything. I have planters, cashews. I can pretend that I'm drinking. Wait, you're at home. You used to have like a whole tea, like a tea setup or- Well, I had to to do, I'm on like, I'm on, very down and dirty setup because I, I had to move really quickly. I was in the process of updating all of my gear and building out a studio, but my daughter is sick today. So I just had to run into the office and grab everything and run back home. So not fully so set up yet. Here's yeah, here's so. a cool lesson in that though. 
when you a lot of people are afraid to touch their system because they're afraid they're not going to be able to put it back and i think more than anything else if you're in that if that is your thought right now if you are afraid to touch your system because you're not able to put it back book yourself an hour a week for like the next three weeks to take apart and put back your system it's so you such learn a good, yeah. the gear if you do not know your gear enough to just completely dismantle it and put it back yeah. you're setting yourself up for failure because something will happen on your quote unquote most important stream all of our support emails start out with this is my most important <laughs> this is stream. my most like, important stream i'm, I'm yeah, interviewing fancy, the king huh? right i've got so, oprah coming on yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly right so if you know this is going to pop off then you should be able to in our in our terminology we say strike right you should be able to set up and strike your system like yeah. in a heartbeat and i never knew how much Katie, you guys knew about striking the system until the last day of the conference. Katie and Caleb can put away an entire ECAM office <laughs> in like 30 seconds. Well, I'm, getting, I'm getting better at it based on your feedback because Bro, I'm, you always guys are on, quick. I'm always on like location because I, we have two offices and I'm, and sometimes I'm at home and sometimes I'm traveling. So I, and I, but I, even then I still like, I, I need to double check, you know, what the proper settings are. I'm using the Sony ZV-E10 this time around instead of my A6400 that I have. So I, I had to double check and be like, okay, I think I've got this. I'm just going to verify with, <laughs> with the video to make sure it's all it's all correct. So it still takes me a little say, bit of time. I'm still practicing. Uh, trust and verify. There you go. Anyway, guys, so let's get started. Let me take a deep breath. Woo-sa. And we're going to count it down in five, four, Aloha, Flow Riders, and welcome to the flow. Oh, we did it. You know, uh, I forgot to mention that our last episode, we ticked off episode 25. So we fully, you know, wrapped. 20. I think we did, I, I don't know what the mark is, but we did a quarter century of them. So let's call it, <laughs> let's call it a congratulations to the Flow Riders and to ourselves and to Luis and Caleb and our whole team who helps us put this thing together, Woo! moderators, the whole nine yard, Mr. Paul the Wonderful. Um, we I had a, I had a hilarious thing playing around with AI and I told AI, like, what does a stressed out moderator look like? And I got the perfect picture. Of Paul. It, is, it is the most wonderful picture. AI at its best. <laughs> it was AI so good. Uh, today is 27. Okay. There we go. Yeah, right, so I, know, anyway. I was going to say, I think we're actually, we're a little bit past that. We're like, we're in, yeah, we're on our way. To I think 50. maybe we're we just didn't way. mention it. Maybe that I just didn't mention it. Anyway, I want to say congratulate us. Cause it's a big deal. Like a lot of people don't realize that, you know, we talk about the pod fade and yes it's real and it's it's fun though this has been i i think if i could do nothing else i like to rewind everybody's brain and tell them if you're going to start your podcast make sure you know your why well we kind of have our why figured out and then so it's easier to just continue to march without a problem yep. and so i think that's a super important thing make sure you lock it down while we're passing out flowers and introducing <laughs> katie Hey everyone, I'm Katie. <laughs> the VHS club is the sauce. Oh my goodness. Oh, it you. is I'm so good. <laughs> you guys are freaking incredible. I watched freaking Can't Harley Wait on Sunday. I did too. I did too. And you know what is like ironic and hilarious is that last episode you were saying you gave uh, Natalie and I the awesome suggestion of of sitting down and recording a whole bunch of like just in case clips that we could play, you know, in case something happened. Well, hilariously, so we invited Doc onto the show on Thursday. Hilariously, Natalie is not able to join Thursday. And I was like, oh, if only I had recorded those. I was like, you know what? All good because Doc's going to be there. So it's we're taking the flow on location Thursday night. We're going to be talking about <laughs> movies instead of podcasting. But yeah, oh I, have, I have that next step on my list. I was like, all right, Nat, now we really need to do this because inevitably we're going to we're going to have moments where one or both of us aren't going to be able to be on. But it's been so fun. And I again, I you know, it's been something we've been talking about for forever. And based on this show, we're like, we're just going to start. So if you're sitting there and you're like, I don't know, I don't know if I should add video. I don't know if I should start this podcast thing. Just start. You have a why just in your head. It. Just do it. It's so good. Gang, I, I highly suggest you watch the VHS Club, especially if you enjoy movies the way that we do. It was <laughs> very impressive. And I, I just like watching it because... I remember Katie in her first podcasting endeavors ever, even the first couple episodes of this, and then watching her just run that show like a boss and still have a fantastic time doing it. 
you, it doesn't take that long. Like we literally started the flow in August. Episodes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. And then yeah. so we're, we're already here in February and now Katie can run the show by herself without any problems. And it is quite amazing. So yes, uh, Paul, give Paul the link. And then we're good. it's funny to have Paul. Give Paul the link. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, if you Kate do want to follow along, the link is uh, just youtube.com slash at sign the VHS club. So good. So good. Anyway, so let's get started with the flow. Uh, and then I'm still cracking. Now I have Caleb's thing in my head. Instead of using PayPal, <laughs> use PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness my head goodness. my head hurts all right let's go let's go let's get started what are we talking about this week kate's <laughs> i know jack's like where are we what are we even doing today what's our what's our topic for today well i'm really really excited because we now have we have today next week and the week after already planned out so we're we're encountering a little bit of a theme here so today we're going to talk about repurposing how you take everything that you're doing in recording your podcast or live streaming your podcast how you get it out into all of the different places but stay tuned because if you like this episode we are bringing harmony i believe it's harmony on from yes. descript in two weeks i i don't i know that that's her name i just don't know for sure if it's her or if it's going to be mickey or someone else on the team but the team uh from descript is going to join us in two weeks and then next week we're going to bring on um, some special guest friends of mine who just started their podcast to walk through their entire workflow and how they're repurposing and how they're doing everything. So we're in a we're in a like full flow repurposing theme. But today we're just going to talk about what is repurposing, why you should be doing it, and how to do it. Okay, so I have an important thing to tell you. If you are recording your podcast with Ecamm, as you should. <laughs> one of the things that we're going to give you if you checked all the right boxes we have tutorials don't sweat it uh you will get a basically an isolated recording of your video in your mic and then your guest video in your guest mic and you can just throw them in any number of apps to do a edit right so mm -hmm. particularly i'm a final cut guy some people are going to be um what's that thing called the painter guy da vinci uh you might be premier <laughs> uh, you could it would yeah. be extremely difficult and time consuming but you could do it in like cap cut or in shot mm -hmm. the only reason why it'd be difficult and time consuming is they're not really designed for longer form edits they're designed for short form edits so they will work but they would be harder in fact you could do it in iMovie you just won't have as much control over your audio and things so I have to give two pointers number one if you're going to start from scratch and you've never edited anything yes it's going to sound scary but just go straight to Final Cut go straight to Final Cut go to search for apple.com and then search for Final Cut education bundle and uh, mm -hmm. just type it in and you can get Final Cut and Logic and Motion and Center Stage for 199 bucks. And Apple really doesn't care that you're not really in college. Just <laughs> lie. Um, they don't really care. And honestly, they should just change it. I really wish they would just change it so that people don't have to feel Uji about it. Cause I know some yeah. people do feel Uji about it, but I know from when I worked there, we <laughs> never checked when people came in and say, Hey, I'm buying this. I'm a college student. Okay. Whatever. Uh, we just, it just, it's the time it takes to do all of the checking is obnoxious. Right. And so one of the things like I was uh, mentioning on a podcast yesterday, I was on office hour global and I was stating that when your security is so tight that it interferes with the person's audio jungle ability to find the audio jungle clip that their audio jungle listening for it it's it's a waste of energy to the people who paid already and really yeah. want to just hear your thing so apple doesn't care don't feel bad about it um until they close that loop which they could have closed 10 years ago but they have it so they, yeah. that proves to me they don't care um just get that go straight to final cut just skip everything else um, yeah, and if you need help figuring out Final Cut, I can help you. Tom can help you. I got a whole Discord server of friends who can help you learn how to use Final Cut. Just uh, well, iMovie is going to be a waste of time. I just want to put that in your head. And then if you're using <laughs> Ecamm, the last thing is as you're doing your recording and you come across something glorious that you know you want, just press M on your keyboard or M. put an yep. M button M button on your, on your uh, stream deck so that way you can have markers and it'll make your job easier. Yeah, it really does. And I would say too that, uh, and here, fun, fun story. Fun story. So 
two weeks ago, I think it was, I was a, a guest on a podcast. I was using Ecamm coming in, they're recording on Zoom. But I, I thought, you know, what the heck, I'll record on my end because always be recording. It's a smart, <laughs> it's a smart move to make. And at the end of the podcast, I had hit M. I had, you know, ev everything that I said that I thought would be really fun. I had the video captured. I literally grabbed that video clip. I dragged it into Descript, pulled up the transcript, pulled up the video. I clipped it down to a short amount. It took me maybe 20 minutes max to find like, you know, a 30 second or 90 second clip. Dragged that into, into Instagram as a reel, added some captions and some cute things, tagged them. And I was promoting their podcast before they even finished editing it. I was like, this drops on Sunday. This was so much fun. And like, but it was so easy and it gave me that extra video. I was able to send my video over to them and, you know, let them know that, you know, that I had everything all set to go as an extra. So, you know, whether it's your podcast or you're a guest on a podcast, be a great guest, record the video. You might use it in repurposing and in, you know, being able to help support the podcast that you're on. So pro tip on my end, but I felt so proud of myself. And it was one of those moments where I was like, why haven't I been doing this all along? And I don't really know why, but it's, it's one of those things that I think is super important. Man, that is so cool. I, I like the fact that you say you can you can uh, promote it before they get a chance to do it. I think that is really incredible because, <laughs> like, and yeah, so people, some people are going to balk, like, oh, I can't really afford the script. And guess what? There's other tools out there for you. Um, right yeah. now, uh, OpenAI has something called uh, Whisper. Whisper mm -hmm. will help you transcribe. So, like, yeah. the script is better, but Whisper works, right? Um, even if you just had to take the YouTube description down, okay, like this is crazy, but let me just explain it, right? Sometimes free just means you got to spend more time. <laughs> you know, paid exactly. means it's going to be faster. It's your right? time. Yeah, exactly. Right. You yeah. either you either have money or you have time. That's always mm -hmm. the problem, right? So in theory, you can record your episode, put it on YouTube as private. Like I don't even care. I don't want anybody to see it. YouTube will transcribe it. You can pull down a YouTube transcription and open it up in your favorite editor and fix it, right? Yep. It's gonna take you about an hour to fix it. <laughs> so, I mean, buy the script. Um, <laughs> but, but, but once you fix it, right, here's a cheat code. You take that finished transcription, whether it's done with the script or, or Otter or Rev or Whisper, whoever, whoever transcribed it, even exactly. if you had your, your kid transcribe it for you, Take the transcription, drop it in the chat GPT, and say, generate me a couple highlights out of this, right? Yep. It's going to give you scripts. I need a couple 30-second highlights out of this straight from the, the transcription. You're going to take that and match it to the video. Yep. Yeah. And again, if you're Robert using, if you're mother's using mother's markers brother. as well, then you have some of those moments too. <laughs> like you, yeah, I, I agree. I think it, I think re, you're, you'll, you will be successful at repurposing if you go into recording or streaming with the intention to repurpose. So, you know, as we're, as Doc and I are talking right now, I'm very aware because I'm the one who is, you know, pulling that transcript and working into scripts throughout this week for our release next week. I'm aware of like, what are those three sound bites that we're gonna, you know, get out and turn into video clips? You know, what brilliant thing is Doc saying? You know, I've got my, I've got my M ready. I've got my, you know, I've got my thought ready to be able to get that out later. And what, and what form is that going to take? Is that going to be, you know, a video clip? Is it going to be uh, an audiogram? Is it going to be just a typed out, um, you know, quote that I'm we're sharing out through Twitter or somewhere else? Is it going to be a blog article? I be very aware of what different options you have for repurposing and be thinking about that as you're creating and planning out your content and not just waiting until the video is done and then being like, okay, how do I repurpose this? You need to be setting that level of intention going in. Oh, okay. So here we go, people. Um, I'm going to break this flow for a second, but this flow is to show you how to flow in an actual flow. Katie <laughs> Jess, in, in, prob <laughs> in probably about a minute's time, Katie covered a bunch of very important points, yep. but I know that's a good clip. And maybe I'm worried that clip is slightly longer than a minute. So let mm -hmm. me fix the clip right now. All right, Katie, 
I just want to double back and and repeat what you just said. So you're saying some of the best repurposed elements out of a podcast can be an audiogram, a social media post, a blog post. Uh, what were the other couple that you came up on? Uh, a quote in a in a social post. A, uh, I think you said them all. Now I'm ruining your clip. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh... <laughs> but that's okay. I actually knew what they were, so maybe I would just finish them. But yeah. know that you can, if you have something that you might want to be able to reuse, intentionally stop and reiterate that section, right? Mm -hmm. Or a lot of times you'll hear us host say, Hey, oh, that was super dope. Can you run that back again? Now yeah. I'm pressing the button, right? Mm -hmm. And then when I go to edit, I'll take the question and the run back and stick it together. The reason yeah. why you have them run it back, they already said it. They probably know it can say it again quicker the second time. You know what I mean? Let you throw Katie for a loop. So you can completely stop in the middle and and reiterate something important to make sure that they got them again, right? And nobody's gonna notice, nobody's gonna care because you're still giving them information and somebody missed it the first time you said it. So repeating it is not that big a deal. So what Katie said is correct. Do them with intentionality. You will make your job a heck of a lot easier. And Caleb will send you nasty text messages like, I need you guys to give me more clips from the show. <laughs> That's not what Caleb sounds like. All right. We nope. should, we should though, actually on that note, we should back up for anyone that is new to this podcast or is new to content marketing or video marketing in general and talk through a little bit about what repurposing is. So we just went through them really quickly, but the act of repurposing is taking pieces of content that either are from the, the long form content you're creating, like this podcast episode, or are associated or around the, you know, the long form content that you're creating to use to promote your podcast or show or to grow your audience, but really they're, they're a marketing tool to get people back, right? So Think of it as, you know, all of the different ways that you can reach people in the spots that they are at. So this is any of the social platforms and, you know, specific content you can create for those. That's a blog post or things you can put on your website. That's sending out an email. Um, what else, Doc? There's, I think that's oh, social there's, platforms, there's so emails, okay. blog. Uh, yeah, hello, tripwires. I mean, you can use it to build tripwires, <laughs> yeah. right? So, all right, hold on. First of all, I got to back this up because Katie's going to say it. I, see, I'm glad you're here, Katie, because in my head, like, oh, what is repurposing? I don't know. Repurposing. Like, it's in the word, bro. Like, what else do you need? <laughs> like, this is this is just me. And then there's people that get really frustrated because, you know, they, they're afraid to take those leaps. It's not that they can. It's an obvious statement. Like, what is water? It's water, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but maybe the fear is stopping you from hearing what it actually is, right? Yeah. So... I would have completely been like, okay, I know you know what repurposing is because it's just like you take an old t-shirt and when you're done, you turn it into a rag to clean the stove. I repurpose yeah. in the story, right? But yeah. now I forgot the word that I had to reiterate because I just said one that was probably a term of art. What did I just say? Purpose, reiterate. No. <laughs> no, no, no. You said something and I said it was a term of art and then I just wanted to make sure you covered it, um, that we covered it again. Oh, I know what I said. I said tripwire. Oh, trip wire. A, yeah. a, a trip wire is a download or a behind the scenes mm. or something that yep. you get people yep. to sign up to your email list in order to get, right? Yep. So I need the documentation for the challenge of Ecamm that just happens featuring Salisbury Adrian. Okay, go to this link and put in your email address and we'll send it to you. Yeah. Trip wire. Right. Yeah. And see, and then, that's actually a really good point to highlight for a couple of reasons. One, it's really smart to grow your audience, but two, that's a piece of content that you technically are not repurposing. You are not taking that piece of content and putting it out in a different way or putting out into a different place. You're actually withholding that content from your episode or from your main content, or it's, it's additive but you are giving it as an extra for those who, you know, who are able to, or want to register or sign up or give you some information. And right. that, I think people sometimes forget that in the repurposing, they're like, okay, well repurposing, I need to clip up my videos or I need to clip up my audio, or I need to grab those sound bites or those quotes. But there's also things like you said, like there's anything that is extra content all around it, or maybe it's even just like a summary or, you know, a social post on 
LinkedIn where you say like what you learned from hosting that episode or from right. talking with that guest, which isn't from the episode itself, but is kind of that additive around, you know, around and the you, episode, you around the build content. entire things around the product too. So yeah. for instance, um, it would be smart of us to basically record one of these episodes, excuse me, and then do a, we're going to edit this right after and it's going to be you you come into this room that you signed up for mm -hmm. and then you will watch louise katie and i go through editing the show like all of the steps that are involved and you're going to watch yeah. exactly how to edit you know a particular type of show or yeah. for someone someone like rich who's doing a promotion podcast and he's explaining mm -hmm. to people like how to buy you know this new special titanium mug with the ecamm logo and he's promoting mm -hmm. Or not promoting but explaining that this is a hot ticket item right now he could do an after show where he actually shows how to go in illustrator and properly set up the artwork pull the right cmk colors make sure that your clients are giving you all the pertinent information realizing that on a cylinder circles look oblong even though they're not so it's an optical illusion so there's a calculation that you have to do it's 0.8 in order to mm -hmm. well, it depends on the size right it's a it's a calculation you do radius circumference and then you squish the logo on purpose and it looks normal to the eye after the fact like he could explain all of that in the behind the scenes show that is good for building that audience or building that um that email list or something of yeah. that nature like you know so now you're putting some value behind your repurpose but we've watched people turn their whole entire podcast into a book that's to me is the ultimate repurpose exactly exactly yeah and i and again and a book then that they could sell through an amazon live stream right so oh, there's sure. there are tons and tons of opportunities out there and the way that you're gonna learn what works best for you is is going and listening and watching and seeing what other people are doing and you know taking down some of those ideas asking questions being part of a community like you are here as part of the flow riders you know certainly you can always ask questions and figure out what others are doing or what we're doing um but and yeah and then just you know seeing what works for you as a consumer what are the things where you've given your email address out to what are the podcasts that you've subscribed to what are the shows that you show up to why is it, you know, is it, what is it about those shows that um, that's working and and how have they reached you? You know, how did you find us? Is it, you know, is it because you were part of the Ecamm fam and we were talking about it in the community? Is it that we advertised on another show? You know, was it a, a post on Instagram or on Facebook? You, know, you got to really think those things through so that you can test and try and figure out what works best for you. But there's tons of options out there. So again, like everything, start with one or two get really good at that, figure out what works best and then add more things on. If you sit and say like, I, you know, every single podcast episode, I'm going to put it in these 17 different spots and I'm going to do all of this stuff. Great. If you have the time to do it, you probably don't. And you probably shouldn't start off with that many things. You should find the couple of things that work best and the couple of spaces that work best for your audience or who you're trying to reach. Wow. There you go. That is super good. You know, I think, I think you're right. One of the things and I think it's a super good point is that people will try to do all of them. And in the beginning, you should probably <laughs> add one yeah. repurposed thing at a time until you get to the requisite amount that you need. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like if you add them all at a time, it's going to seem daunting and impossible that you're going to freak yourself out. You're going to have more whelm than you wanted for. That's just, <laughs> no, nobody has ever said i am perfectly whelmed you're either over or under like what is perfectly whelmed like if you happy. want to use the other two words <laughs> whelmed use, whelmed is happy it should be under right? happy or over happy you have to use all of the words if you're going to use them and right now people don't even say underwhelmed anymore everybody is overwhelmed just be whelmed people anyway let me get off my box <laughs> so you're going to want to be able to think about this right so we're going to talk about intentionality for a second because i think what katie is saying is correct you have to maybe start with one or you should you don't have to do anything you should start with one so right now it's just me maybe i'm you know biased as a youtube coach turn it into youtube short uh, you want to turn them into YouTube shorts. And so if you know that, you know you only have 60 seconds for a short, then you're going to intentionally put in places for a short to come out. Now, let's say 
you have on an amazing guest and the guest is talking about something super important. And when you go to edit that short at minute 60, they're not there, but there was a hooking, not minute, second 60, but there was a hooking type element at second 37. Stop it right there. Stop it at the hook. And they'd be like, shoo, shoo, shoo. see the full episode here. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. how you promote it. Or never miss out on these again. Come to the live recordings. <laughs> We're going to do a meetup in some random city and make sure you come and check us out. And this guest is going to be there. <laughs> this is how you do it. Right. So yeah. think about that. Um, there's public sharing tools out there. Like uh, you can take the deck from your show, the best points and put them on many public sharing tools. Uh, SlideShare is an old school one, but there's plenty of them out there. So you can do things like that. And like you said, generate audiograms. Those are the three, two, uh, those are a couple of the ones I think are super amazing right now. And uh, I don't really listen to it as much anymore, but I used to always hear really good ones on uh, Flash Brief. If you mm -hmm. have that lady that begins with A that comes from the Amazon place, she used to come on in the morning when you fire up the coffee pot. So you would go Pew, this morning on your flash briefing. Dun, dun, dun. And then, you know, you would hear clips from your favorite podcast on there. So, you know, some people still listen to that and I don't as much anymore, but I mean, there's so many things you can do with that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And again, it comes down to where your where your audience lives and what what works best for you. So for us, for this show right now, we have we we live record as we said a bajillion times here we live record here on youtube every single week 12 p.m eastern we go for about an hour when we oh, luis is remote producing it for us so both doc and i are calling in as interview guests through ecamm so luis has all of those files as doc said at the top of this episode all of the isolated files he's got my video doc's video each of our audios and then he's got the whole thing mixed and then Doc and I are also recording on our end, so we can send those files over. So when the show is over, Luis gets all of the files that he needs and he starts the editing process. But while he's doing that, we're, you know, we're still working on what the next week's episode is. And we are, you know, taking past clips that uh, from past episodes that we've already clipped and we're sending those through to different social platforms. And we're talking, you know, we're talking and generating additional content when that episode is done being edited typically you know friday or um or sometimes monday morning but it comes back through and then, no, no offense to louise who's busy it comes back through and i throw i literally throw that video clip right the whole video episode right into descript generates the entire transcript and then while i am going through and just checking to make sure the transcript looks good and there's no you know weird things or little things i need to tweak or change I, I can read and very easily identify where those clips were that I remember from this episode. It also helps me kind of remember the main points from the episode. I jot down some notes. I clip three or four different clips. I grab the transcript. So that's most of that work, it, you know, is really fast and fairly easy, but it helps create a ton of content that then, you know, we can send back out in different places. So it it's become a really easy process. At one point we did also do blog posts, which I'd like to get back to. You know, we've done some PDF downloads, which I'd like to get back to. But right now we're in a state where this is a really easy process for any of us to pick up and make sure that we get each episode out, you know, and it really, it generates enough content that we have an audience that we're growing each and every single week and people understand what our topics are. And we have those sound bites for people that don't want to watch the entire episode, don't want to listen to the entire episode, but can catch the important things that resonate with them. So I, it works right now. It, the whole process is a week long from when we record to when we like officially release, but really the work in there is probably only an hour or two, you know, split between three or four of us, depending on who's working on it that week. So it's not, again, it's a sustainable process that gets us into the habit of thinking about it a different way. So, you know, we know what topics we're covering. We know how to sum up and reiterate our episode in, in social posts and summaries. We have our video clips. We have our transcript that we can use for, you know, for closed captioning and a bunch of other places. And it's all a pretty e easy, seamless, repeatable process. Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple of things that you said there that are super dope. <laughs> you drop it into the script. Okay. And then yep. in the description, there is a soliloquy of just awesomeness that comes out. You yep. can grab the cursor, start in the first word, highlight it to the last word, and then copy that. 
paste yep. that into a new composition, it yep. will pick up the text, the audio, and the video. Yep. And drop so there's it your video a clip done and do a yeah. new composition completely mm -hmm. done. If you touch nothing else, just turn mm -hmm. the captions on so that they run across the bottom, you know, yep. like a good uh, karaoke flick and then you're square. Yep. Now you can go in and grab B roll or, you know, pictures and things to support that. And it's very easy to divide, to divide that up. If you want it to be marker oriented, you just put in a little slash marks divide it up. I mean, repurposing in Descript is just, again, dope. Now, the other thing that you can do, and I said this before, I'm just gonna reiterate it so nobody misses this, take the entire transcript and then go to chat.openai.com. I wanna start doing this, this will be fun, I had yeah. to double check that. Paste it in. <laughs> And then you can say, <clears throat> Mr. GPT, based on Mrs. G they GPT, based off the learning outcomes of X, please summarize the above, right? Mm -hmm. Or help. Here's a one that I use all the time. Help me write an informative, engaging, blah 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 about the above. Mm -hmm. right it will formulate things for you in a manner that makes sense so now you have this summary you can take that summary and go in case you missed it right <laughs> exactly. and you can exactly. give it back to the script and if you're on the pro plan you can say hey the script i want you to be me read this out because it's only going to be short and it will read it out in your own voice yeah or close to it and then if you put enough noise in, <laughs> you don't even have to reread it. If you're good like me and you can read it in one take, knock yourself out. If you cannot, hey, no problem. The script will make it for you and then spit it back out. And now you can put that in case you missed it as a social media clip so that people want to go back and hear that particular episode. So when you hear in your podcast where they highlight another episode or a different podcast or your friend's podcast that you were a guest on, hello super simple nowadays you kind of got zero excuses if you don't want it to be your voice there's free tools out there with that will convert it into samuel jackson like i mean <laughs> you'd be like hey mother if you didn't listen to the podcast this week then you know like come on like <laughs> you, this, this excuses are over fam like it is way too easy to do this now and yeah that's it it's, that's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So just if you just took your transcript, no matter where you got it from, and you threw it at the AI, the AI can summarize it for you, make social media posts for you, make tweets for you, make LinkedIn posts for you, make Facebook posts for you, make Pinterest posts for you. Like, who got an excuse for me? Please throw it at me so that I can just light it up. Yeah, and they, if people have been, you have all been asking us about, you know, what 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 is the future of ai which how as content creators and podcasters and video people are you know should we be using ai this is a great start right here so use it to streamline your process to create efficiencies for you you've already worked hard on the actual podcast episode so yeah like use it use it to create all of these repurposing either your process or the actual content itself or a little bit of both i think it's really super smart and it's a great way to get familiar with it in a way that's not scary at all like you it's not like it's doing the podcast for you it's not taking over your job it's not doing these things that are you know potentially intimidating you're using it to help you and if it doesn't work out the way you want it to don't post it but at least you've tried and you're getting used to using it more I, yeah, you know, virtual virtual assistant ai <laughs> Absolutely I, I hate to be i hate to be this person but i think it's important that if you get into the creator mode once you become a creator you have to eliminate the destruction words from your vocabulary yeah because um, they cause you to think about stuff that's just not real right so like you said like yeah, yeah i can't take anybody's job it's not going to yeah <laughs> if anything is going to make people's job better it will help other people develop jobs and it will help the people above that just do better at what they already know how to do everybody who's been cruising you're going to get caught it just is what it is so here's your chance to reiterate and like fix yourself and start all over so yeah it's like it's not going to really really bother you jobs i think it's just funny that the timing of AI blowing up at the same time, big tech just had a sweep of them over hiring. Yeah. You know, it, that's where it comes from. And it looks a little scary, but that's, they're yeah. not even related. So if anything, a lot of those people to creators right now, you should be really, really 
doubling and tripling down in your creativity because a whole bunch of extremely skilled people just got released and a lot of them don't want to go back to corporate. So when they start doing a, a podcast or a creation in your lane with all of the skills they have, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you know Today's I mean? public that service announcement is brought to you by Doug. Don't panic. People are coming for your jobs. <laughs> no, I'm not. Then that's not your job. That's your, for most people, it's their your passion. Hobby they're, yeah, yeah, your they're hobby. not doing it right. But there's your opportunity to realize if anything, now is the time to be honing your skills and stop cruising because a whole bunch of really, really skillful people just got released into the water. Is a, if you're, if you're a, a goldfish and a whole bunch of sharks just all of a sudden came into the pond. You, you know some things. You better you better shark up real quick. All right. So one Shark other thing up. that I wanted to make sure that we covered in mm -hmm. in here is um, we did it, and maybe without even realizing that we did it, we did it. Another good repurposing outcome is your highlight show, uh -huh. or your or your yeah. mailbag show. Your mailbag yeah. shows are great, and how you record a mailbag a mailbag show without recording a mailbag show. Every time you get a good question that comes in via email or comment or whatever, just record yep. that. Yep. And it doesn't matter that your clothes change. Nobody's paying attention to that. They're paying attention to the question and the answer. Okay. So when you get one, always be recording. Katie has explained this to always you. Always be recording. <laughs> Have it set up. Pop <laughs> yep. into your ECM setup and be like, hey, got a wonderful question from Paul Kelly from the chat today. Paul Kelly wants to know, what is your favorite podcast uh, platform picks and your recommendations? Paul, it's super simple. It's Captivate and none other. I would really like to say that this is on par and this is on par and this is on par because we do like to work in the world of equality and equilibrium. But no, Captivate smokes all of those dudes <laughs> in, in fresh, easy wides. So if you want my honest opinion, I'm going to say Captivate above all other. I really can't even think why I would use anything else at the moment, why your opinions may vary, but here's that's my answer. So here we go. And we just keep that. Okay. And then one time something's going to come up, like we're going to both be at NAB and we can't do a flow show. Luis could take the super cut of all of us video answering questions and throw that together as the mailbag episode for the week. Yep. Katie and I could do an introduction in the lobby and be like, hey, this is Dr. Katie. We are at the Sheraton uh, Renaissance Las Vegas and we can't blah, blah, blah. So enjoy the mailbag episode. Make sure you get your emails into us at flow at, at, at ecam.com so that the next time we do a mailbag episode, maybe we'll get your question on there. Boom done or we just do a highlight reel right yep. these are the things we did this uh first week of january right these are the things that we learned through the first 20 some odd episodes of doing the flow right yep. so you're basically repurposing because you're going back and talking about what you already covered and those mm -hmm. episodes always do really well in almost every podcast i ever listen to they tend to be some of the better ones because they're interactive you see so don't forget that version of repurposing as well yeah, it's a really big topic. It's a really big word. There's a lot of things that fall under it. And really, in the end, there's no right and wrong. The whole goal behind go. it is to make the entire process easier for you to be able to reach as many people as possible. So yay you, you started a podcast, you're killing it, you're out there, you're doing a really great job. Who are the people that you want to reach? Where are they? And how can you put little breadcrumbs out in all of those spaces to pull people back to your gingerbread house of awesomeness? <laughs> so figure out what those spaces are and what are the pieces of content that make sense on those places and start building into your podcast production plan, PPP, a way to reach those people with those breadcrumbs. So if you're, all your people are on TikTok, for example, then you know, maybe at the beginning of every episode recording or live stream, you grab a vertical video that is like, yeah, we're behind the scenes doing our sound check before this episode. We're gonna be talking all about repurposing content. Doc and I are having a great time. We can't wait to see you here live. You wanna find out our three pro tips. Here are two, catch the third by joining us live on this episode. Grab that video, drag that over to TikTok and pull people over that way. Think You really just need to think through what works best for you and build on it as you go. But there's no wrong. Every little tiny piece of content that leads back to your big piece of content is a repurposing win, <laughs> whatever that, that is. That is the uh, the clip, right? Everything is content. Everything <laughs> is content, <laughs> right? So here, here's, here's a prime example, right? Today was a good, now, of course, she was busy and probably didn't think about it. And I'll be honest, I wouldn't have thought about it either. But if you're thinking like this all the time, 
or you put yourself in the mind frame mindset to think about it all the time. Katie could have been like, get ready to go do the flow. But today I can't do it in the office. I got to be home because the little fox is sick. Boom. Stop. Right. It's just a quick yeah. thing. She's running to the car. You, you know, she jumps in and you hear the in the start. Right. <laughs> so then she yeah. goes to the ECAM office. She busted. Hey, Kim, I, like have the phone in her hand. Doesn't even matter if she's looking at herself yeah. or looking at the table. Hey, Ken, can't stay. Got to grab this equipment and take it home. And then you just see uh, a shot next of the camera, the microphone, the tripod, requisite cables. And you see the arm just go. Phew. And then, you know, moms always have that fold up bag in the purse. They just unfold <laughs> it and then <laughs> drop everything in the bag. It's true. The Mary back Poppins bag. Yeah. The Mary Poppins bag, right? And then you run back to the house, you get everything set up, and the next shot is basically the phone on the table, and you plop in, boom. Okay, now I set up the studio in the house. I'm getting ready to record the flow. Uh, be ready to grab your equipment and remove it at any time and know how to set it back up. Yeah, Darn it, that would have been good, Doc. I missed that opportunity. Maybe I'll have to fake it later, and then all you have you will two be kids. Like, you know. It's winter. Uh, one of them will be sick again. Now you know. <laughs> like, exactly. Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Actually, uh, the one will get the other one sick, and so the yeah, next opportunity, truth. like, so Coming just know <laughs> that, know that you can throw those type of things together because somebody else is in your same position where yeah. they're going to have to move studio because of construction or neighbors or dog or, you know, mother-in-law came to visit, whatever the case may be. Yeah. And that is a good clip, right? That is a good BTS clip, right? Um, so those are the type of things that you can do. And I just realized we had a customer reach out to us this week, talk about a dope repurposing opportunity. A customer reached out this week and they didn't know how to move their ecam from their current computer to their new computer yeah and you know we were saying oh just do this this and this but then it just dawned on me hello i got brand new and sitting right here and yes, <laughs> Look, I, I got did, this yeah. i did already move everything over but i can just delete it and do it again <laughs> right and then this time i'll make sure to record that process so that way everybody will know you just save your profiles and you know yeah. you're good to go basically but if you want to take it more granularly i can give all those steps and i did already make a video about where you should be keeping your ecamm assets and things like that so those are all really good sort of repurposed capabilities right yeah. and everything is content and so yeah it'll be really really cool that now when people are saying hey what's the best way to do a podcast what i'm seeing happening in our community is community members are going oh if you're going to do a podcast with ecamm you should be watching the flow and i just go <laughs> Yeah, yeah. thank you guys. You just turkey is working, <laughs> you know. So there you go. Yeah. And don't be afraid to, and we're doing this on our end, but don't be afraid to go back. Like if you've been podcasting for a while and you and you've been video podcasting for a while, then you have you know a a ton of amazing content out there. There's nothing stopping you from going back through some of your original episodes, you know, writing down or finding what those you know fun moments are. Maybe it's like you know, moments where something crazy or silly happen and you want to stitch those together into a fun little trailer video, just put music behind it or like, you know, or find like brilliant moments or fun guests that you've had on. There's, there's potential to be continuously going back through your database of past clips and past episodes and pulling back out those nuggets because your audience is always growing. So people may not you know have seen those original episodes maybe they didn't binge watch or binge listen to all of them and those moments in the in the back catalog are equally important and you can keep pulling those out and using them in tons of different ways for promo videos and ads and you know all kinds of different content so cool so i'm excited for when we are going to be like going through the script with folks um yeah. and let's see we got we Two got weeks. our not we next got week our the weekend. poll in, <laughs> and these are the results. We asked the poll, are you repurposing your podcast? Okay, so the first yes was 45%. Ooh, uh, no, but I want to was 31%. Well, we're okay. glad you came today, and hopefully we uh, sparked some of your um, fancy. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a podcast. Okay, let's get that started. Hey, you're Yet. in the right spot. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, we should have added dot 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 yet, and yeah. then zero percent said no. So hey, we're there we're we doing the work. We're doing the work here. <laughs> All right, gang. So basically, repurposing is taking whatever you've created 
and finding creative ways to reuse that in a different platform other than the one you quote unquote created it for. Um, it can be a myriad of things, right? It can absolutely be a myriad of things from, again, blog posts, newsletters, podcasts, audiograms, video shorts, reels, TikToks, the the word, the, 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 the it's endless. Let's just put it this endless. way. The creativity possibilities are endless. With that said, I want to go back and give you a word from our sponsor because I think it will really help you get to where you need to go. And that is Descript. You can say Descript. You can say Descript. They don't really care. And you can say the now script. To the script. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you can drop it into Descript. And basically, you're going to take the video or the audio file that you've created and it's going to turn it into a word document if you can read you can edit so you're going to be able to easily fix your ums and your ahs you're going to be able to easily chop it up into chapters turn it into the audiograms that we spoke about earlier we didn't really explain what an audiogram is but just go ahead and download your trial of the script and you'll be able to figure it out within seconds you can generate yeah. really really awesome clips it's super uh, intuitive and it to me it's one of the fastest ways that people can edit i oh, are an editor i edit really fast in things like final cut pro and davinci and of you know those natures i still do my base or what we used to call an offline edit i do my offline edit in the script and it, it's it's amazing and so we just got to give a shout out to them we could not do this show <laughs> without <laughs> The script. So I would be completely up. underwater in full panic mode without it. I it has made <laughs> things so much faster for me because I, you know, video editing is not my full-time job. I would love to learn more about it, but it's not something that I'm it's not as high a priority as other things that I'm working on. So for me, it just makes it really fast and easy for me to at least be able to get those clips out there and keep uh, keep the show on schedule. And then, you know, we have other brilliant people around to help with those heavier edits, but it's a great, it's a great starting point. And if you are, you know, an amazing editor, it's a great additional tool to have to just make it really fast and easy to be able to find those moments really quickly and clip them up, whether it's audio or video or both and get them out into all the different spaces and places. There you go. So thanks to the script, we'll make sure the link is down in the description <laughs> not 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 related <laughs> not related we'll put, it, we'll put it in the description or for the videos and we'll also put it in the show notes for those of you guys who listen to this on the audio but again big ups to the script and yeah super stoked so we're going to roll into question and answer mode if you want to make sure that you don't miss these opportunities we do record every tuesday live on youtube so you can slide by and come and check us out we're just ecam live on the YouTube box. You can find us here, watch live, bring your questions. You can also ask us questions on the flow, uh, on the volley rather, which is quite amazing. And of course, you can always send us an email at flow at ecam.com. That's it. That's it, Flow Riders. We'll see you next week. I'm excited. Wait, we have a couple of questions, so we should we should scroll through. I assume yeah, we, we have to say bye to the call. recording people and then answer them. No, right now. <laughs> okay, so by recording, people, we'll see you next week. Peace out. <laughs> okay, guys, now it's time for a question and answer. <laughs> Too excited about questions today. Really exciting. That used to be a, a a cartoon thing, and I forgot what yeah, cartoon it was. Yeah, what cartoon was that? It, it, now it's time for something really good. I forgot what it is. Now I got to find it because that's a great clip. Anyway, um, you, we're gonna. Uh, Pastor Eva says, "When is the workshop class for the script?" Um, we are in the process of getting that squared away. We are going to have Harmony on as a guest coming up in two weeks. So two weeks. you can watch that episode. And I'm going to be mean real quick. And I don't mean to be mean, but I'm going to just be mean. The script does not require a class. You know how, <laughs> Believe me, you know I really to, am not joking. I do it in no, minutes. If you, know so how to edit, if you know how to edit an email or you know how to edit a Word document, you've covered 80%. You yep. Like you got most of it down. So that's it. Just, yeah. Just try it just try it and then see where you get stuck it is pretty sims 
Katie yeah. even said it. Uh, the other Katie, Katie. <laughs> so we got the two Pauls and the two Katies. This is confusing. Uh, <laughs> Katie Simpson said it's gotten so much user friendly now. Yes, yeah. it's it's incredible. It's so incredible. I know. Uh, Katie's right, got a great so, question here at the top. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Go ahead. Oh no, sorry. I, this is a different one actually. Have you seen the new short form video templates? And no, I haven't. Um, I need to. I need to dive a bit deeper. I've been in total get stuff done mode, so I need to check out all the. They've been just like. They've been ecam level rolling out the feature updates, and yes, I need to catch up. Have, <laughs> they have been flying at the same time. You know, we're we we got our button now. It's actually it's an integration. We shouldn't call it a button. Calling a button makes it sound less than what it is. But yeah, that's the bit. That's the way we wanted it to be, though. We wanted it yeah, to be easy. so that you don't have to think all these things. You just go click and then while it's doing what it does grab yourself a coffee refresh the beans come sit down and then you're ready to go yeah. you can just dive right in so super incredible you should definitely uh check that out um quite yeah but we'll check out that new feature katie do you like it is it one that you really enjoy it sounds easy so i'm, I'm in <laughs> for checking oh. it out and real quick before we leave i wanted to a, give a shout out to my buddy marine x but also wanted to explain uh, yes, if you are considering a podcast, listen, Gunny, stop considering. Just do it. Just do it. Right? You, you yeah. know, we we have been trained past all of the stop things that normal people do. We're not normal. We're fit to fight. So stop considering today. Just get started. If you could do nothing else, roll back, I believe, episode two or three, we talked about how to set up Captivate and Go. Yep. Just go. The first thing you should do today, I'm going to give you marching orders because you're a Marine, so you understand <laughs> this, and I don't have to worry about your feelings. Um, <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. Uh, <laughs> go and record a trailer for what your podcast is going to be about. Then go to Captivate. My link is in the chat up there a little bit. Um, go to Captivate. Set up your account real quick, and then post your trailer because it takes about a week or so for it to propagate all of the podcasting platforms where you're going to be right it's going to have to go through the the apple and the spotify the amazon and all of that and captivate does that they have a thing at the bottom where you just press and it goes Nearing! it sends it to all of these places so you want to do your artwork right away and then uh go to captivate hey paul do you have a link to the checklist so that way we can give it to marine x so he can just follow well he's marine he i think really follow instructions i think <laughs> but, it's ecam.tv slash flow freebies is where all of our go. checklists are dang katie she's quick yeah yo. yeah i'm yes. getting there i'm getting there. So, yes if you we have a, a a guideline and you just follow that so you go down that checklist you make sure you got everything checked off fam and just literally just start just start and i will back you up 100 percent. because thank you for your service <laughs> we got you we got you that's super i mean because I, I it's one of those things that the longer you put it off you're just going to start freaking yourself out and then yep. so we're known for just running in the dark holes and just hoping that we come out the other side and so far so good we normally come out the other side <laughs> so you know you, you can't you can't sit back and think about it it will really psych you out you start over analyzing and if for some reason you don't like captivate it's so easy to move a podcast now so i'm gonna just tell you to pick one and go except the one that the navy people would use I'll let you figure <laughs> it out. don't use that one <laughs> Katie has one question I don't want to miss. She said, would you recommend that you go live horizontally for main podcast for your main podcast and then afterwards yeah. do a mini vertical for repurposing easily? Uh, you don't have to do any of that because you, vertical will, I mean, you can just create vertical videos out of your regular videos. If you're using Final Cut or even the script, like it will put it in there. Like unless you're doing this in your video where you're all over the place and you're not yeah, in the you center. Yeah, you should be able to most, isolate. People, most people are sitting here and so you fit. And yeah, your melon's gonna be large in those clips. They're supposed to be large in those clips. That is what invites people to the human that's on the other side. And yeah. I know that, you know, all you people with feelings are worried about the way you look or whatever that doesn't help the people connect with you people are trying to connect to a human they're not trying to connect to somebody who's not human so you got to get over those thoughts 
and understand someone wants to see you show up the way you are exactly right now. They don't want to see you show up one way and then meet you at the Piggly Wiggly and you're different. It's like the Wizard of Oz. When you found out what's, you know, the little man behind the wall, it's very like um, disheartening. So that yeah. no every, that that part you're going to have to let go. I can't help you with that. They got therapy for that. <laughs> Although I'm not, I will being, say, I'm not I, joking, I'm serious. No, I know that they, I I know you're serious. <laughs> I'm laughing at your <laughs> at your soap at your soapbox, but I'm I wanted I want to ask a follow up question because I I do think I've had this question before, and I'm sure other people have this. So if in the case of like you and I, for example, so we're doing this like split screen horizontal video, right? But we have been planning on releasing some vertical video out on TikTok and YouTube short in different places to promote the flow. And in that case, we just had our editor, Luis, who is fantastic, take, you know, your video and put it on top and my video and put it on bottom so that we're in this same like designed look, but vertical. Is there, yeah. uh, is there a way for people to do that who are new to editing? Are there like, is there an easy get started tool? I know, I know obviously that like any of the, you know, powerful video editing tools can do that. But if someone wants to just be able to get started is, does CapCut do that? Does it, is there a simple yes. tool that does that? Awesome. Cap so there you go, Katie. So Cap if you want to start that way. Yes. So, but I'm going to, I'm going to reiterate, just give her yeah. a <laughs> You got 90 day <laughs> free trial. So yeah. it, it will, it will, it, I tell you what, it will be faster to do it in Final Cut with a free 90 day trial than it will be for you to download CapCut and then try to figure <laughs> out how to do it sure. and then end up getting mad at that and then going and giving CapCut, what is it, the 40 bucks they want for the, you know, the professional version of CapCut. Oxymoron. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. At that, I mean, if you spend 40 bucks on cap cut, you spent one fifth of you what it well actually just, yeah. cost you to get Final Cut. And Final Cut can produce Star Wars. Cap Cut can't. So keep playing. And sooner or later, you're going to be here. And by the time you add up the cost of all of the shortcuts, you probably got the first hundred of the mm -hmm. 200 that you need to buy Final Cut. So just yeah. stop tripping. It's like yeah. I'm sorry. That one I will set in stone, and I will go toe to toe with round about anybody on that one. And I mean, it could be Da Vinci for free. Da Vinci has a higher learning curve, but a Da Vinci is freaking amaze balls. And if you really like budget is a thing, because I get it, it is, especially nowadays, you can absolutely do it in Da Vinci. It's just going to take you about a month and a half to two months longer to learn Da Vinci. And I'm a skilled editor. Right. Like Da Vinci yeah. is not super simple. It's not impossible. But if, if money is your problem, go straight to Da Vinci, get it for free and get YouTube University and own it until you own it. Yeah. Simple. Like it's, it's not even worth messing with the other stuff. And again, if you're not at that point yet, for whatever reason or, you know, what for whatever you can, you could you could just record. You Ecamm would let you record a vertical stacked interview video or a vertical video first record that save it and then go into your horizontal podcast recording also oh, fine. like hold so. up hold up hold up katie wait I, I do have to do my stream but i'm going to show you something you just made me think of something lady you just <laughs> made me think of something okay so watch this gang watch this um Luis, you probably don't have a scene ready but we're just going to pretend you do i'm going <laughs> to pop this right in the middle all right so i'm going to take this video this is pretend video clip and I'm, I'm gonna waiting, put it I'm in. Waiting. Wait, 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 wait. We need like um, we need like magic background music. I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Luis is like, looking... no way, man, no way. <laughs> no, no, come here, do this. What I want. You Let's to do. see what what he comes up with. So, I know, all right, so I'm gonna great. take this thing. I'm gonna add it, and then I'm gonna shrink it down, and then I'm gonna grab the option key and pull it just like that. The option key and pull it just like that, and I'm gonna place it in the center of my screen, right? Yeah. And then realizing that's going to be a vertical video, I'm going to just roll it like this for a second, right? Yeah. Then I'm going to grab another video. I'm just looking to see what I have um, because it makes sense. It doesn't even have to be a video. This could probably just be anything else. And I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab the option. So you don't need cap cut. You don't need final cut. You need <laughs> Ecamm cut. Just right. <laughs> if you yep. got Ecamm cut, you could do the exact same thing. Hey, stay there. All right. I fixed it. Look, we just did it. We without, did it. Without we anything, I did it in Ecamm cut. So now what's your damn excuse? Pow. There you go. <laughs>
There you go. Wait, let me play this one so you know that it's a video as well. All right, so you could do it in Ecamm cut. It's too many docs on screen. I can't handle it. I uh, fully <laughs> understood. I, I'm not too even much. playing fully, <laughs> fully understood. Let me just make it so that everybody, you know, let me get rid of the one in the background oh. so that way you can understand. Look, now it looks like a, a real deal Holyfield video. And instead yeah. of being two docs, it would be docking another person. But yep. you know what I mean? Or it'd be you and your graphics, right? It doesn't even have to be anything other it could be a still picture right it could be oh gosh you want. yeah yeah so like right? and yeah so i'm just thinking like i have my recorded video and if i was if i was just driving the show by myself i would have your isolated recorded video too i could just drag and drop both of those right back in the ecamm in our exactly recorded, yeah exactly, exactly. So, so at this point like we are 100 percent taking away all the excuses like now you don't need final cut you need anything you can literally put these in ecamm and then press the record button and then look, so now I'm showing somebody oh. how to use how to use markers in a short video. I'm up top talking about markers. I got the graphic on the bottom showing you what they look like. And then legit, that's it. So now what's your excuse? Oh, I'm you well, now I got to go because I have so many videos I need to make so we can release them. I'm going to I'm going to add pro video editor to my resume now and it'll just be descript, but that's OK. I'll be pro descript editor on my resume. Yeah, it's, it's it's I mean, like it, it's too easy nowadays. I'm just going to keep saying that until people get it in their head. There is zero reason to be afraid. There's zero reasons to be intimidated or anything about that. It's just boom. Uh, we covered um, PK's question four times accidentally it's captivate, captivate. full stop in the story. <laughs> and i <laughs> like, i will say paul i i tried anchor i try i i currently am still using anchor for my for my friend podcast the vhs club and it is awful sorry anchor people but it's so it's so like limited there it's easy to use but there it is limited and i constantly have moments of being like why can't i figure out how to just streamline getting the podcast out to all these different platforms. It, it just, it, you cannot see the amount of analytics. It's just very not user-friendly. It's easy to get up and running quickly, but it's not even kind it, it does the absolute basic and, um, yep. yeah, I just don't, if you're doing it for fun and budgets a really big concern for you, great. But like doc said, there's a move button. I plan on using it real soon here, jumping back into Captivate because it's just so much easier to use and gives you so many more features. Okay. I want to, I want to cover two last things and then we're out of here. Um, it's very possible that for some reason you're 115% allergic to Captivate Buzzsprout. That's the other one. Stop. Mm. Don't do anything else. Just quit. Now, the other <laughs> one I want to cover, right? Cause I, I just, I just like to leave people where oh, let's put it this way. I get spiritual enjoyment out of popping the balloons of limited beliefs, right? <laughs> and I get spiritual enjoyment out of popping a needle into the balloons of people that just make up excuses that are easily unexcusable. Okay, so let's say you're really, really skilled at something. I don't know what that is, but let's just say you're really skilled on something. Uh, Geeks on Tour just popped up into the chat. Okay, so I'll pick on Geeks on Tour. Let's just assume <laughs> that Geeks on Tour is really, really good at, at Mac OS, but needs to do a podcast and wants to, to get Final Cut, but doesn't have the 200 bucks that Final Cut costs. I can guarantee you, if you look in the ECAM community, you look around your communities that you belong into, there is somebody that needs $200 worth of your skill, right? Whether mm -hmm. that's helping them repurpose because you got more time than, than they got more money, right? Helping mm -hmm. them repurpose, helping them set their their flow up so that their hard drives got perfect backup setup. Someone needs to walk, needs you to walk them through how to set up the backups properly to do their thing. Maybe there's even somebody that's going to get on a cut, doesn't know how to use it. You know how to use it, but you don't have the 200 bucks. Hey, guess what? I'll teach you how to use final cut for like 300 bones. Never do it for the regular price. And then they give you the money you're going to buy final cut they're going to buy final cut and you guys are going to sit down for three four five six hours whatever your time is worth and you're going to teach them how to use it like the excuse of it's 200 dollars really pisses me off because i can babysit my friends kids twice there's 200 bones it's so true so expensive i hate kids. straight yeah. up like <laughs> not like that i don't i mean i don't have any i don't want none like 
I'm not that person, but I'm good uncle. I'm one of the best uncles in the world. I'll babysit the crap out of somebody's kids so that they can go on a date <laughs> night so that I can buy something that I need. Like wash cars, paint fence, cut grass, sell the crap in your office. Like there's no excuse to be stuck on 200 points. Yeah. It's just not. It's not. And a full year of the script, I don't know what that comes out to. I'm going to say it's like four or 500 something. I forgot now. But hey, still, yeah. no excuse. Like, yeah. you could easily muster that. Yep. And if you if you can't, you might need a different hobby. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I'm really yeah. sorry. I'm not trying to be mean, but like, I, I don't want our people to keep starting with excuses that are easily solvable. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm done. Yeah. So box over. So box over. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everyone. We will see you in the volley, in email, and back again next week. And I'll, I will see you on the VHS Club. Can't hardly wait. Thursday. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, you guys.